This is Sony's mid-range IEMs. It comes in colorful options and a high resolution audio. In the package, it includes an auto sealing pouch, four ear tip sizes, and also a cable shortener tab. The cable itself is 1.2 meters long. Sony has provided a cable shortener tab which works well during workout sessions. And if you are shorter in height, it also prevents the wires from digging out too much. In a normal setup, you can see that the wire does not touch the face. It also has an additional plastic tip here that reduces the gap between two wires. You can pull it up during workout sessions if you need it. The control center is located at the left side, which houses the microphone and multi-button function that controls your calls and media playback. I do wish they included the volume rocker, but again, their design has always been towards minimalism. We are now doing a microphone test with an external recorder. This is how my voice sounds like through the microphone. So, how's your day? Be watching any animes lately? Do recommend me some. I like to watch some new animes. The sound isolation is great because the sound tube is 0.7 cm long. It goes deep into your ear canal and almost cancels out most of the environmental noises. Other features include support high resolution audio, meaning that it can handle higher bit rate than average CD quality. This is brought to life by a 9mm neon Dynamic dynamic driver. Moving on to audio quality, pop and EDM. For this, you're using TMB OK. Low bass frequency is superbly energetic and highly notable. You can feel the air pressure booming into your ears. It does not eat into the vocals and it has zero bass distortion. The subtle bass vibration fades out smoothly. The low bass frequency is well bodied. The low bass does overpower the vocals but just by a bit. Next, we test it out in Pia Mia Do It Again. The bass is superbly energetic and present. You can feel the air pressure. The bass face butter smooth with a long drag, especially at the 2 minute and 5 second mark. The vibration is just orgasm. The bass slightly overpowers the vocals, but there is a clear separation between the two. The bass is well bodied. The EDM tone sounds lively and fun. Moving on to vocals and instrumentals. For this, we are using Y Linda Raindrop. The piano and violin tone sounds right and natural. It leans closer to the crystal clear type and not the warm sound. I prefer the crystal clear type. It has the right amount of shine at the highs. Just right on. The tones are well bodied and doesn't sound half hearted. However, the bass and drums slightly overpowers the piano and violin in terms of audio levels, but there is a clear separation between the two. Next, we try on Pentatonic C True. Mitch Grassy high pitched male tenor vocals perform very well at highs with the right amount of shine. Feels bright, not bad for the price. Each singer can be identified easily. Every diction and pronunciation is crystal clear. Vocal beatboxing, echoing, and humming is orgasm, but it slightly overpowered Mitch Grassy's vocal in the song. This IAM performs well from the low bass frequency to the high frequency without breaking a sweat. It feels natural all the way true high-resolution felt. It's hard to find a simple IAM that performs deep fit at the price range which is still dominated by bass-heavy IAMs. Good job, Sony. If you are interested in purchasing these IAMs, there's a link in the video description below. Also, check out our three Sony Sport IAMs in the video description. Again, tell us your opinions, where you're from, and what should we review next. Leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.